Hello children. Today let us discuss the third poem, Macavity, the Mystery Cat by T.S. Eliot, an American poet of the 20th century. The main character in this poem, Macavity, is a master criminal who is too clever to leave any evidence of his crime. Let us understand the poem part by part. Macavity is a mystery cat. He is called the hidden paw, for he is the master criminal who can defy the law. He is the bafflement of Scotland Yard, the flying squad's despair, for when they reach the scene of crime, Macavity is not there. Over here we understand that Macavity is called a mystery cat. He is also called a hidden paw. It is difficult to understand the moves of the cat. He disobeys laws again and again, but he is never caught. Even the specialized detective agencies of the world, like the Scotland Yard and the Flying Squad, accepted their defeat as they have failed to arrest him. When they reach the scene of crime, McCavity is not there. McCavity, McCavity, there is no one like McCavity. He has broken every human law. He breaks the law of gravity. His powers of levitation would make a fakir stare. And when you reach the scene of crime, Macavity is not there. You may seek him in the basement. You may look up in the air. But I tell you, once and once again, Macavity is not there. These lines tell us that in committing crimes, there is no one like Macavity. He is matchless in his field. He can do the most impossible tasks. He can even break Newton's law of gravity and can float in the air without support. Even a fakir will be surprised to see his feats. The poet says we may search for him in the basement, that's an underground space, and in the air. But however hard we try, we will not find Macavity. Macavity is a ginger cat. He is very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His brow is deeply lined with thought. His head is highly domed. His coat is dusty from neglect. His whiskers are uncombed. He sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake. And when you think he's half asleep, he's always wide awake. In these lines, the poet describes the appearance of Macavity. He calls it a ginger cat. The term ginger refers to the pale orange color cat. The poet goes on to describe the cat as a tall and thin cat. His eyes are sunken in. His head is domed. He sways his head from side to side like a snake. His coat is untidy and dusty and his whiskers are uncombed. Whenever he is mistaken to be asleep, he is actually wide awake. Macavity, Macavity, there is no one like Macavity. For he is a fiend in finite shape, a monster of depravity. You may meet him in a by street. You may see him in a square, but when a crime is discovered, then Macavity is not there. The poet says that there is no one like Macavity. He is a devil in disguise of a cat, a monster of wickedness. He is morally corrupt. You may meet him everywhere, but whenever a crime is discovered, you will not find him there.